Hi everyone and welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we're going to install an E Plus Advanced Chip in this brand new Scott Ransom. If you enjoy our content, please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to get this bash plate off. And so we've got two bolts very close to the back wheel at the rear and two easier ones at the front. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the bike upside down. You can see I've put my top there uh, on the ground so you don't damage the Purian display when you turn your bike upside down. Always be careful when you're doing that. And now I'll remove the back wheel. So I've got the uh, chain into the fastest gear first. And then I'm going to lift up the derailleur and put, just press the little lock to lock it in the upright position and I'm just going to get that out just turn that around so I can get some movement on the axle okay so now the wheel's out just put the axle back in and work on these two bolts so you can come around and see them with the camera. They're the two torque bolts. So much easier now that the wheel's out. There's the first one, fairly short. We'll get the second one out. Okay, there's the two little bolts. Now we'll do the front. Front two. Same size. Just a little bit stuck there. So there's the four little bolts out. There we go, there's the bash plate out. You can see it goes right down into the back there. And if you want to come around with the camera, you can now see we have full access to the cables to put the chip in. Okay, the next step is to remove these plugs. Now, if you note, there's a gray plug, a blue plug, and a black plug always remove the grey plug first that's the one we need so that's the grey all right clearly if you pulled that one out you'd see blue if you pulled that one out you would see black now the second plug to remove is this four cable plug there it is so there's the two plugs simply to remove okay the next step is going to be to install our e plus chip so first we'll install our little connectors on. So I'm gonna put the small connector on first. Then a large connector on. Then we're gonna come around here and we're going red to white and black to black. So there we are red to white, black to back on the small connector. Then on the large four pin connector, we're matching the colors. We'll turn it around and click it in into place. You can see we've got yellow to yellow, green to green, black to black and red to red. So they're both in. And now we simply install the two left connectors back into the same plugs so you can only put them one way all right so you can't get them wrong we'll put that one in first you feel the nice click it's a nice quality German click when you go in and then this one here again I'm going to turn it around because I can see the little notch at the top and I'm going to put 
put that in the right way and click and it's back in so nice click both of those are in so there you are you are actually got the E plus chip and everything's connected now the next uh, job is to get these cables in a nice position so we can put the bash plate back on okay once you've got your wires where you where you're happy with them before I push the chip down into the frame I'm going to turn the bike on to just make sure the chip is working correctly okay once the bikes on I'll click the walk button and the chip is flashing red so we know it's completely working properly and now we can turn the bike off and finish the installation okay so now we've checked that the chips working properly we're going to push the the chip down inside the frame get our wires nice and snug there where we're happy and then get the bash plate and just to be careful you're not pinching any wires as you're getting it back into position one two all right so you just want to make sure the bash plate is in the exact position you need and line up the bolts and I'm going to say work on the front first Push it down hard. Yep, so just get the front one started. Then get the two bolts. As you can see, come around into here. They're in good position. The first one in. Okay, do those all up completely, and then the next step will be to reinstall the back wheel. Okay, last step is to put the back wheel back on. So we'll slide that in, let's get the chain back in the right place. Get the disc, line up the disc correctly. Take the axle, put the axle back in. Tighten that up. Okay, get that nice and snug. Put the connector back in. Grab the derailleur, the clip, just come off, and we're back on. Okay, in order to activate your chip, turn on the bike. Now if it's a standard chip, there's no need to connect an app or anything. You just press the walk button, say 2.2. That means the chip's active. You need to do this each time you turn on the bike. When you turn off the bike, the chip automatically deactivates. You press the walk button again. See it says 1.1. That means the chip's now off and the 25 limit is back. Okay, if you have the advanced chip, you can activate it this way a few times, but eventually it will say 0 0.2 and it won't activate. The reason for this is you need to activate it through the application once before using it continually as normal. So you download the E Plus tuning application. Once it's installed, you open it. And you can see the main screen has racing, then there's a tuning screen, there's an account details screen, and then a scanning screen. You need to make sure your Bluetooth, location services and Wi-Fi are all on. Then you scan to find the chip. See here, RN4678, this is our chip. Here we go, we're connected to the chip now. On the racing page, you can see our speed's 25. None of the features are activated. First time you activate this speed unlock feature, it's going to ask you to pay one euro. I've already done that, so for me it lets me do it. The max speed is 75. You can set it to 35, 50 or 75. 
here is a code immobilizer function. This function allows you to lock the bike. So if you activate this, now the bike will offer no assistance until either someone takes it to a Bosch dealer to have it looked at, or till you unlock it with the code immobilizer here. Okay, on the next screen, here's the tuning. So here is the original settings. You can click that to load the original bike settings. So then there's the E plus mappings. So from Eco, Urban, Touring, Enduro, Trial and Race. Race is the fastest setting and then from there it goes back. Here you can have custom settings, your own maps. So you click on the map. And then you can adjust the level of assistance in each speed bracket up to 35 kilometers an hour. So if you want just absolute maximum power, have them all at the top. Let's say you don't need much power in the lower speed. You can turn them down, you'll conserve battery in that lower end. You can use that power when you're going faster. So you can set all sorts of custom maps. You just click them and they load. It's as simple as that. And they're the features of the advanced app. So when you finish your ride, you'll notice a countdown will come on the screen. This countdown can take up to a minute to start and what it's doing is it's defeating the Bosch anti-tampering software and it's, it does this to avoid those 504 errors. So you can see it counting down now. Once this countdown's complete it'll say 00 on the display and the bike will be ready to turn off. We find the best method is to simply just leave the bike on at the end of your ride and it will turn off by itself after around 10 minutes sitting idly. You don't have to complete this countdown if you stop at the traffic lights and it starts, it's only at the end of the ride that the countdown must be completed.